Have you ever heard of the book called Zimidar by Valerie Fitzgerald? It's quite long <clears throat> and it's about the war <clears throat> or they call it a revolt in 1857. Um, Zimidar focuses on the years 1856 to 1857, a very pivotal time period for the British Raj in India. It's a lot about war, obviously, and the suffering they go through, and there is a love story mixed in with Laura, and it, it has very high ratings on Goodreads, but I have found, a, she does a lot of soul searching and reminiscing, but she's involved in a war, so I understand why there's a lot of death and obviously a lot of hardships and starvation and she's in love with a man she falls in love with a man from india and then she doesn't see him for a lot of the book of course because he's fighting and they get separated and um and then he's from india well now she has a whole lot of bad feelings about india and of course if they're going to stay together he doesn't want to go back to England and live in the world of you know the British and sit in an office all day and she doesn't really want to stay in India because she just went through a whole lot of trauma now here's someone's review on Goodreads that I didn't know and this is rather good as a historical fiction Valerie Fitzgerald Zimidar an account of the Indian Rebellion of 1857 against the British East Indian Company is superb. The author's grandmother had actually lived through the siege of Lucknow, and it is the center event of the novel. The author herself, as a child, resided there when her father was stationed there during World War II. I haven't actually finished this book. I'm almost done this book, so I didn't realize that. Maybe it's in the back. In the beginning of the book, Laura, they're in um, England, and Laura feels that she is falling in love with this man, Charles. Well, her cousin gets real jealous. She can't stand the fact that her cousin Laura will be married before she is. So she uses her her beauty and her whims on Charles and gets Charles to fall in love with her so that they get married. And you find out quite early that really Emily married Charles just because of the jealousy of her cousin Laura having a man and not her, <laughs> sadly. And at first, you know, Laura is very hurt about this because she feels that she's in love with Charles, but she kind of grows up and she realizes that she was in love with him and Emily gets pregnant and during all this war she has a little baby that they, that they name Pearl. I actually noticed on Goodreads that a couple people refer to this as oh, a sideline of Gone with the Wind or like Gone with the Wind. I, I guess it is. It's the war and it's a romance and nobody in it is named Scarlet. <laughs> but uh, it's something like 880 pages and the war part does get very long but um, and it's very sad. The trauma and the killings and the deaths in it are difficult to take but uh is war and romance and a lot of husbands are lost. It's flopping around. Say, mommy forgot all my toys, so I have to chew on my shoe.
what you're doing. Look at that. Uh-huh.